Hey guys, this is L'Oreal from Healthy Root Type of Soul, and today we are taking the next step in our journey of switching over to a real food lifestyle. If you're new here, I encourage you to check out the introduction video and the previous videos so you can kind of get an idea of what we have switched over so far. Alright, so today is the seventh step in our journey, and that is switching out our spices. Switching out our spices is kind of like it, it, over, it gets overlooked because it's something so simple and we don't even think about it. But really, there's a lot to the spices that we buy. Most conventional spices go through something called irradiation. And it's a process similar to pasteurization, pasteurization in which they put it through a process and it kills all the good and the bad bacteria. So it makes it sterile. And while this doesn't seem like too bad of a problem, it is because we are so, our society right now is so germophobic. So we're always constantly staying away from germs. And unfortunately, when doing this, we stay away from the good germs or the good bacteria. And bacteria is essential to our health. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of the saying that all um, disease begins in the gut. And our gut thrives with bacteria, good bacteria, and we, if we don't have good bacteria from the foods that we eat, then how are we supposed to replenish and how is our body supposed to fight the bad bacteria when we get it? So spices go through radiation, so it's important to look for organic spices or spices that have not been irradiated. Um, so the best way to start, okay, you don't have to go and buy all new spices and wipe out your cabinet. The best thing to do is just once you run out of one, just make sure that you choose an organic um, product, okay, an alternative, because that way you can stay away from irradiation and all that nastiness. Um, so where do you start? Which spice do you start out with? For me personally, I think the best place to start is with your salt, okay, because we use salt every day in our cooking, and it's something that um, is used more than like a specialty spice. So because you're using it every day, you want to make sure that you're getting something that's better for you versus the irradiated or um, the salt that has like anti-caking agents in it and um, bleaching and all that. So you want to go for an unrefined sea salt. Remember, not all, not all sea salt is created equal. So the term that you want to look for is unrefined. And a brand that I really, really love and trust is um, Real Salt. They, their salt is super natural, and what's really cool is it actually comes from the United States in Utah. So it's not imported, so you kind of keep that carbon footprint very low, and you stay within the United States, which I know is important to a lot of us. Um, so, and it's affordable. That's the best part. You know, sometimes with the organic, Switching over to organic foods or real foods, it can be daunting because it's so expensive, but real salt is really affordable and it's multi-purpose. You can use it in everything. But your challenge this week is to go to the store or online or wherever you do your shopping and buy yourself some real salt. Um, if you already have real salt and you use it, what I want you to do is buy a different spice that you haven't switched out yet. So. Say you have pepper or ground cumin or something that isn't organic or has been irradiated, um, I want you to go and buy a different alternative if you haven't already switched your salt. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you next week.